Now it's hard to put price on this I because when you tell me that you spent 40 hours on building something, well. how do you price them really? Oh no, so no, no, no that's I do well with them at the beginning of school year. It is it is a student clarinet, you know, for the beginners to start on it. Yeah. You know, if I if I give you buck fifty, there's no money to be made on it for me, you know? Buck twenty then? I can't. Hey guys, Pete over here. So uh, on the last episode cleaning this jacket off a little bit from all the fuzz but on the last episode I asked you guys if you know anything possibly about this jacket this is World War One German jacket and I priced it at the moment at $300 like I said few of you chimed in that it's a lot more money than 300 a lot of you said I should double that I should ask at least six even somebody said I should ask 700 so I'm definitely up and up on that price. I really appreciate everybody's input. Um, that's why I, I love you guys. I mean, there's so many people with so much knowledge out there. Fantastic. Thank you so much. do for you I've got a machine I'd like to sell what kind of machine it's a uh, does it print money <laughs> <laughs> I will be you know, able to chop it up it's a chipper shredder like a, a lar a garden lawn garden kind of thing where you vacuum leaves and stuff twigs yeah. and sh what brand it's a craftsman it's got a Tecumseh motor on it with a brand new carburetor a Tecumseh carburetor I think I'm gonna say no. I tell you why. Because most people buy them at kind of at the end of the season. Yeah. For cleanups and stuff. So yeah. If I buy it now, I'm gonna end up sitting on it for a long time before anybody looks sure. at it. Sure. So I, I think I'm gonna say no on that. Sorry. Yeah. You don't have room. No, not really. I. Me you either. are the second guy that I'm turning down with that chipper. You know, somebody brought me a few days ago a bigger one, even, and I said no. It's just the wrong time, time of, of year. year, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, and, and I'm, I'm stuck in the same situation because yeah. I used it, and now it's taking up room that I don't have. <clears throat> what do I, and, and the hard part for me is it's a heavy motor, yeah. and it's got a real heavy flywheel on it okay. for the chopping and chipping. And I don't have the strength to start it anymore. Yeah, it takes, it takes a, a man yeah. to pull that thing. Yeah. And I don't, you know. Yeah, you do that a few times, you your shoulder go out. <laughs> I can't I can't pull it hard yeah. enough to yeah. start it. I have so. to kind of pull it halfway and then real quick catch it again. Mm -hmm. I think your bird's trying to escape. Where are you going? Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> She's interested. Hey, get back on a stick. Now, come on. Good girl. There you go. <laughs> Does she really listen to yeah, you? Yeah, she listens. Yeah, that's she, cool. She, she talks a lot too, so. Yeah, sorry my friend. I wish you uh, right. good luck. I don't know, maybe Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. See if you can get rid of it. But I put it out on the street with a sign for two weeks and nothing. Yeah, it's, it's the wrong ball. time of the year, you know, that's yeah. the problem, so. All right, man. All right, Thanks my friend. Anyway. Thank you. She talks a lot too. That's an African gray, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So my buddy had one of those and yeah. it didn't like his wife when they got married. And That's then, how they are yeah. usually. They attach only to one person or, or just male or female they choose. And uh -huh. She's like that too. She doesn't like uh, women very much, you know? So, <laughs> uh, so. You can't live with them and you can't shoot them. <laughs> All right. I did not say that. Yeah. So my buddy, yeah, the bird, they held on to the birds and then once they had their baby, then the the bird started mimicking the baby crying. Oh, really? That's when it had to go. Yeah. The wife's Enough like, okay. of that. <laughs> Enough of that. Yeah. But mimic the doorbell, the yeah. telephone. She, that was she okay. mimics a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Here goes the other one. Yeah, right. Oh, like what the hell's going on out there? I want to come up front where the action's at. Yeah. All right, bud. Thanks. I'll see you later, huh? Yeah, take care, all right? Do. What do you want to get out of this uh, clarinet? Make me an offer. To be honest with you, I, I don't. If 
I don't even know if I want. I do well with them at the beginning of school year. It is it is a student clarinet, you know, for the beginners to start on it. Yeah. This thing brand new is like sixty bucks. That's all it brings. Used market anywhere between like twenty to twenty five, thirty dollars, depending on the color. They make them on all different colors. Right. I mean, if you want like ten bucks, that's all. Okay, I really don't. Need you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. I don't need it. Yeah, it's just, it's nothing, you know, special here, so if you're okay with 10, I'll do 10 bucks. Yeah, we'll do 10. Okay. All right, let me have your ID, I'll write you up really quick. Any good finds lately? Are you still going to Goodwill at all? Or? Yeah, I go there, but you know, they're not putting any good stuff out no more. Yeah. They're selling everything online. I go to the Sabres place over here in Crystal Lake now. I find, I find more stuff there than anywhere. I feel like their their prices are crazy. No, though. not really. Yeah. I close, I close they are, yeah, but not on the other stuff. Yeah, because I know like there, if got, anything decent electronics, they'll got, put a crazy number on a receiver of like 40, 50 bucks. Oh no, they have one for nine ninety nine, a Pioneer. Okay. With well. a remote. And I bought two poke speakers, six ninety nine each, tall, the tall ones. So maybe maybe change oh, what yeah, they have now in a bag. They're cheap out there in electronics. Yeah, Friedman's used the name of the game. You know, just to, just go in there. Yeah. Yeah, the might as well put a cheer, a lawn cheer there and just <laughs> wait. <laughs> I see guys that I see you used to do that in uh at Goodwill. I still do it. You would sit there under mm -hmm. one I'll of the comfortable chairs. Wait for them to bring the carts out yeah. and grab right off the cart. And yeah. they got people doing that at Sabres too now. No shit. Yep, the guy right, stands yeah, by the room. But I got some good deal though. I got a 300 watt infinity speaker. I got a 300 watt infinity subwoofer yeah. for 6.99. I sold it for 80 bucks the other day. Then I got the two poke speakers, and then I got a clips, a giant clips center oh, channel. Nice. I got that downstairs. I'm using that. Nice, nice. The clips center channel. That's nice. If you want on this, on this. Uh, Sweatshirt on this hoodie. I'll do like five bucks. No, no okay. I'll I get it. it. I keep it Makes keep sense. It's I fine guess. because I, I got few of these so at five bucks I would buy it, but otherwise no. oh, you got so these? I got a couple different sweatshirts, you know, so it's just No, I'll keep that one then. But you know when, it, when if you feel like coming over just give me a call All right, and I think I got your number. Let me double check here. Okay, then. All right, my friend. All right. Take care. Bye There's a reason they picked them though. Yeah, I don't know. Kettle? <laughs> tornadoes, right? <laughs> tornadoes. That's funny. But <laughs> maybe you're right. Maybe it is like Boston, the farthest east point. Absolutely. You know, the, and then, then Kansas, Kansas City, the super middle central. central. Yes, sir. And then LA, obviously, you yeah. know. For, uh -huh. Yeah. So maybe. But I would pick still New York. I think Boston. it's awesome, man. That's an eye catcher right there, man. Yeah. You know. You what? Thousand bucks, it's yours. Yeah, it's awesome. I was gonna say, I'm surprised the pickers haven't I haven't seen that on the pickers. <laughs> it's not for sale though. I got it as a gift long time ago. Many people ask if they can buy yeah, you, that's it. That's a keeper, huh? Yeah. It's a keeper. Right on, bro. Yeah, so cool. So when I was gone for uh, for a week on a little vacation between the holidays, Kevin bought this cool Invicta watch. And the reason I say cool, because you know, Invicta makes so many, so many really different watches, their styles, there's probably, I, I'm not kidding, probably a thousand different watches or yeah. even more yeah. styles. But Star Wars, they make few and this one is pretty cool. This is the Baba Fed, right? So, um, looks like in mint condition, not huge money, uh, but I think the way it sits with no scratches, very clean, I mean obviously used but not abused, we will still probably get a hundred, maybe even 125 bucks. Yeah, I think that's fair. Very, very cool uh, watch. People like Invictus. I mean, this brand 15, 20 years ago was massive, right? When they came to the market and they, they killed themselves. Like they, they saturated the market so much that the watch that used to be three hundred fifty dollars now sells for seventy five, a hundred dollars. Yeah. You know, so uh, but still very cool. People, there's so much follow following when it comes to Star Wars, so this will sell for good money, and even the case will sell for good money separate. Yeah, yeah, sure. And there's like even if they had more watches, there would yeah, yeah, that, just know. yeah, for sure. And this actually has a seal in it; it protects it. You can throw this in the ocean. Yeah. Did you name the otter? 
the otter? Yes, name? we did. Actually, it, in, in today's video, when it comes out, oh, uh, I think later on today, it's scheduled for like 6 or 7 p.m., a video that comes out. We talk about him yeah. because so many people commented different names. So we picked the name for him. And now he's going to be popping in in every video. Cool. <laughs> Just for like four or five seconds. Oh, cameo appearance. With my goofy voice behind it, it's asking like, people to give a thumbs up on a video. Uh, it's like that's what he's gonna. From the, the, that uh, home improvement show. Oh, yeah. Very cool. First of all, where are you guys from? Are you LaGrange. Local? We're from Lagrange. Lagrange. Okay. We watch so your videos like hike. crazy. So, so. It's an hour. Took you a minute too. Yeah, yeah, about an hour. A little bit closer than these folks. It took them a couple hours, but. There you go. Freeport. So. Freeport. So, for example, I know okay. you said you make these yeah, yourself. I, How I long it took you to make a knife that, like this? That took me, um, if you want to count hours, I'm going to say 40. 40 hours? 40 hours. This is all hand polished with sandpaper so and a grinder. So, where did the blade came from? The blade came from a piece of steel, a piece of aluminum. That's, that's aluminum. Just like this long, two and a half inches wide. This is like, it's pretty heavy. It's aluminum. Wow. It, but I got it from... What I got it from was a recycled support bar from a commercial refrigerator that was delivered to my job site. Okay. So they, you take the, the packaging off the, the uh, refrigerator, and there you go. You got these support bars on the bottom. I said, these got. I got to save these. I can oh, do something with them. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Same thing. So with then, that big then one. you actually cut it out to get the shape, cut and it then out, you. Then I hand ground it. And, and then polished and it. And then polished it. The How many is, hours of polishing yeah. to get it like um, a mirror finish? I would, like I say, 40 hours. Yeah. I, mean, I can flash yeah. somebody on a yeah. moon with this, you know? Oh, no, I, get a, I get a lot of compliments on this, but you know, it's time to get to time same to Same thing with this. Same thing with that. Same side bar it goes through about here. Okay. This one I cut off and got, you know, things off it. And then you got brass in between? That, that, that's a piece of brass that yeah. I bought. You know, you buy it, you buy it online. That's a real antler. Real yes. antler. It's a piece of elk. This this piece was on another another um, what would you call it a prong? It's called a prong. Yeah. yeah. Now so this this is, this is creative. I gotta say yeah. this is something that you would see like in a weird you know mm -hmm. uh, movie back in the day when they're you know like Lord Lord of the Rings or something yes. crazy. No, like no, that, I know? get a lot of compliments on that too. But that uh, is pretty. Uh, I'm ready to build another one. You know, and this is like a copper wire here. At That's the end. copper wire. I put that on there to and then support you it, and then you glue it. How is it okay, so now tight? This, okay, this is um, what this is is a copper wire uh -huh. that I wound around this very, very tight, and then I put epoxy on there. Ah, that's okay. why it's so smooth. That's why it's okay. but it's, it's hand sanded too to keep, give it a shiny effect, and then it and keeps it all in place. Of course, like that. of course, this handle has a, a steel bar going through it. You know, like a Okay, so it connects. Yeah, them it's connected. It's not between. just sticking on cool. the end there. It's very I like strong. That piece. And this one is cool too. Yeah. A little guy. Yeah, I like that one. That's a. Uh, what do you say? Supposed there? to be a skinning cold, knife. Cold, skinning knife. Cold, yeah, that's cold, for taking cold, off. Cold forged, or it's not. Oh yeah, it's also normal, cold forged. No, I don't know exactly yeah. what that means because I have no experience He's, with that. But yeah. That's what the gentleman who he gave me the blade said. Blade looks like a very decent quality steel. Yes. Yeah. Obviously it has no name on it, but it looks pretty good. And right. then you put your own spin on it right. when it comes to the handle. It's pretty cool. Yep. What else we got? Oh, okay. So let's uh, let's get into my little tchotchke bag here. Tchotchke bag. Well, let's let, let's put, let, let's put a tchotchke bag okay. over here. Uh, she's got a little bit of her own stuff well, too. This is, okay. This is his. I see Chicago Bears on it or yep. something. Yeah, it's, a, ah, it's the Super the Bowl they lost. You got me interested already. It's, okay. <laughs> it's the, uh, the program. Okay. I think it's the program. Yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, the program. Right. Yeah, it's the program okay. from the Super Bowl. Great condition overall. Yeah, I think I. It's been in that bag in this, since 2007. Yeah. I haven't yeah. looked at it. Told me so that's it, coming up, you know, almost yeah. 20 years old now. You know, I mean, yep. one day maybe again we'll be in a Super Bowl. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's cool. I don't know if I want something like that, yeah, though. Yeah. If, it if it was from 85 beers, you know, yeah, sure. something like that, yeah. a little bit different, but... Um, like I said, that's the one they lost, so not yeah, very popular. Yeah. So. So. Let's go with that one. I think this was... This was... 
I believe, a button from back in the day. Let me get my book. I got well, a no, couple other <laughs> interesting things out in the car. Thank you. That's I don't cool. know how much time. Why you got. are they saying thank you though? I don't know. People attending the game. Probably. I, I, yeah. You know, like, it's oh. cool. I never seen a button that would say like thank that. you with Chicago beers. That's cool. <laughs> what do we got here? We got okay. a couple Coca-Cola cards here. Yeah. So I had these before. Mm -hmm. uh, Coca-Cola market right now. I'll be honest. It's very tough. There's okay. so much stuff out there. And right. they constantly make stuff now. So I don't think I would be interested in stuff like okay. that. I mean, I do like different cards, though. I mean, people collect that kind of stuff. I'm not looking for a lot of these. Give me a real reasonable of that. So Liberty here representing, and this is made by Cam, plastic playing cards. This looks like Chrysler. It is Chrysler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are all sealed, huh? Yeah, all okay. sealed. I didn't bring any okay. of the open ones. Not worth it. Then we got some flamingos. Compliments of Ted Brake. Who's Ted Brake? I don't know. Who is that? I have no idea. Uh, might be some. Uh, Adult cards? So adult <laughs> cards with ladies here. <laughs> yeah, so. That's what they are. That's exactly what they are. So we got more, more yeah, Christmas. That, those are three of the same. Burger King know. watches from the dino. Oh, Burger King The watches. dino thing. Ah, I think this, was this made by Swatch or no? No, uh, Burger King. I never opened them. It might be marked on the I mean, the it's watches. a Jurassic Park, right? When yep. the movie came out, so they were. Uh, Probably you bought a meal movie. and you get one, you know, like that or whatever. They did. I think they had few different styles of this. What year is that? 1997. I'm sure it's a little bit collectible. Just like they had different toys, you know, at McDonald's, Burger King did the right. same kind of stuff, you know. More cards with the ladies, I think. <laughs> okay. No, I don't think I don't think I have too many of those. More cards. Oh. Those are the, the military. That's the, no, that's no. the deck of the 52 most dangerous people in Iraq. Really? Yeah, I got that from a, a, a veteran. Yeah, who was mm. over there? Holly Production. And I USA. didn't open it because yeah. I didn't want it to be spoiled. Okay. But those, are, you know, you got Saddam Hussein and the Ace of Spades. Oh, really? And all that in there. Yeah. Yeah, these are more giveaways. So I'm gonna be honest, these giveaways, I wouldn't be interested yeah, at you all. You can't get rid of them. Yeah. Okay. It's, actually, market is kind of not necessarily flooded but a lot of this stuff is out there they were giving okay. this massively and it's out there you know a lot of a lot of stuff is out there I, some I gold holes I here some. yeah i got a, a couple of uh, uh a little bit different golf balls in here these are okay. really old they, they you know they're not marked and i couldn't find them on the internet but they're very old and then i got this one I'm, I'm made looking. by dupont high tension made in usa at least yeah, yeah. They look to me like they're from 70s. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think the 70s. That's they about when I they started don't have a, collecting things. A barcode on them, so most likely they're probably from 70s. I think one of them is very interesting. This is the interesting one. Okay. <laughs> one Wonder Bowl. It's, it has a pretty interesting... Custom design gold bowl. Three or shit. This says oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cute. That's fun. If you have a market for that, that's like yeah. a one dollar thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's no, a like you said, you know, these yeah. are like little tchotchke mm -hmm. items, you yep. know, that, that, um, but I tell you what, I would be interested in some of these knives. Okay. Now it's hard to put price on this I because understand. when you tell me that you spent 40 hours on building something, well. how do you price that really? Oh, no, so, no, no, that's the point. The point what, is, it's, what would you want to get out of this stuff? Okay. What would you think? What were you thinking? I, would, I don't know. I would like to get a hundred bucks for this stick. Okay. All right. For this knife, I'd like to get seventy-five bucks. Okay. okay, I'm listening. All right. All right. For this knife, uh, this see, this is the this is the one I like a lot, and I I I'd probably let it go for about a hundred bucks also. All right. Okay. How much you and, said on this? This one, this one's probably more than this. This is probably more like 60 hours of work. And the this antler alone costs like 20 bucks. Okay. You, buy, you gotta buy these. I didn't go hunt, hunting that elk. And then this one, I don't know, 
75 bucks? I should let you so, go first so I know where we're going here. Well. I'm, go I'm, I'm gonna be really honest. They're okay. cool and I know they're handmade by you. Yep. But if I, for example, pay you 75 bucks and most of the time I try to kind of like double my money. Right. Of course. Yeah. There's no way I can get 150 no. bucks here in the shop. Okay. Uh, here's my problem. They're cool looking, but there's no really name associated with the blade, you know, and things like that. So uh, I think I would say no on, on these knives at the prices that you have. I am very interested in the in this thing. It's different. Yeah. I never had one like this. I I can tell right away that it's handmade, and it also, you know. But I don't think I can give you a hundred bucks for it. Okay, yeah. what would you offer? I would have shook in your hand. I'm, 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 I'm trying to think it. what I can <laughs> honestly <laughs> get out of it, uh, and I think on a good day, bro. if somebody yeah, would be like wow. willing to pay up, maybe I get a hundred or hundred and twenty <laughs> out of it. Money fell out of my pocket. So I would have to be at like I would have to be at like 50, 60 bucks. Yeah. You know, that's I'll let you have this for 60 bucks. No problem. 60 bucks, you'd be okay with that? I can make another one. Okay, at least at least one. At least I got that cool. It's different. Yep. I like it a lot. So yeah, I'll do 60 bucks. Awesome. I appreciate you bringing it in. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, perfect, guys. So no cards, right? No cards. Okay. Did you want any of this? I don't think so. I don't think so. You want it for fun? Sure, because I, I love I love Chicago beer, so yeah. I'll put it on my thing okay. there. Right. Thank, oh, you. Thank you. So the clip that you just guys watched, that I bought that handmade cane from the gentleman, after we were done filming and everything, and I already pay him, and, and we are just chatting and having a nice conversation, I tell him, listen, I know you are restoring these knives and you're making your own knives and things like that. You should be doing like restoring maybe tools, old old access. You know, people would love that. And he says, well, funny that you ask. I have a couple of them in my truck. I'm like, in your truck? How come you didn't bring them in? So actually he did bring them in after we shot the whole video. And here's a couple examples. And I did end up buying this stuff from him because I liked it so much. So this is a massive, massive wrench, right? Plumber's wrench that he made it. Look how well this is polished and finished. And then he redo, he, he redone the whole handle, painted black with this kind of paint that it's kind of baked on. It's awesome, fantastic. And look at these two axes. Is this crazy? Look how nice they look. Absolutely amazing. So he he will grind all the old dust, I mean, uh, rust from it, and then he'll completely polish them so they look like this. Restores the handle, puts a nice clean coat on it. Some fireman would love these hanging on, on his wall, you know? Amazing. So, uh, sorry it didn't make it to original video, but I wanted to show it off to you guys because they're such a cool pieces. How much I'm gonna be asking for them? I don't know. I, uh, we kind of settle on price on everything here, but uh, I got to do some research. They're very cool pieces. I was mad because I couldn't get the radio. So, so can, I, can I open it yeah. to double check? What's... Yeah, you're fine. Go ahead. I've been coming here long enough. You know me. Yeah, but you know. I know. You know, I had boxes here before with newspaper and, uh, and bricks. Oh, yeah. I remember, <laughs> I remember that situation with the, with the brick. Yeah, every okay. it's still in the box, brand new. Right. I just couldn't get the touchscreen radio I wanted. eBay is a hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty bucks sold. Okay. Pretty much brand new. I've got it listed for one fifty. Cause I paid like two hundred and ten with shipping from Amazon. I was just mad I couldn't get the radio, and I'm just like, you know what? I'll just instead of waiting like seven to ten days for a refund from Amazon, just. I mean, what do you, what do you want to get out of it? Realistically, close to 150 if I could. Well, how am I gonna make money, man? Can you do? One Look, this is what I'm seeing sold, right? So, 143 new because somebody opened a box just like yours, and then you got totally brand new 169 here. You know, if I if I give you buck 50, there's no money to be made on it for me. You know, 
buck twenty then? I can. I would be at like half what this is bringing in. So if it's at like one seventy, I can give you like eighty five bucks. That's all I could do on it. You're taking a fit, man. Yeah, I know I'm taking a fit. Ship it back to Amazon, man. Get your money back. But I actually, you have to pay for the shipping back. That's You're still going to get more. So it's up to you, man. 85 bucks. That's all I could do on it. Doing even 90? Oh, you know, even 90? Yeah. Oh. And you're still making I'll do it. even 80. Oh, we're closer <laughs> no, man, to the 90. No, no, I, I'm straightforward, man. 80, 85. 85 I'll bucks. take the hit. I'm not okay. worried about it. All right. It's better than having to pay the And there's some, as you've seen, sold as low as 140. Oh, yeah. Okay, so can I have your idea? I'll write you. When I get tired of my old BB guns, this is where they come, and then I spend another $400 on a cross me for a brand new one. That's why I like you. Exactly. I've brought him more stuff to what? How long have I been coming here since Ruby was what, 20? I think well, 25 I, maybe? Uh, well, she's 48 now, so not exactly, but. I mean, I've been going to Dave's up the road for 15 years, so. All right, let me have your autograph here on the bottom. Good old John Hancock. Man, you realize you can, 20, you realize 40. You can sell that King Cat for 100, right? Yeah, but it's, what price do I have on it now? 45. And it's been here a year. Okay. I bought, I bought three Hellcat rods off of Facebook Marketplace for 115 each, and those rods alone are 140, 140 well, bucks a piece. Buy it from me for 40 and flip it for 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 5. I don't have a reel for it yet. Once I got a reel, if it's still here, I'll come scoop it up. Yeah. But I have to I have to have a reel that'll at least hold a 110 pound line on it or something like that. 110 pound line on it? Yeah. It's that. gonna be a massive catfish. Man, I'm catching 85, 90 pound blues down in Powerton, Illinois at the nuclear power at the cooling lake. You are? Yeah. I gotta go with you, man. I never caught such a big fish. God, you're missing out, dude. Yeah. We are catching, a couple weeks ago, my buddy and me, we both caught dual 60 pound blue cats off the shore. Oh. It's like a four hour drive. Really? And then you got like a two mile walk to the fishing spot. Yeah. But so. once you get out there, man, I mean, we're using chunks of carp tail that are that big. Wow. And launch them out there on like eight ounce bomb sinkers like this. Really? Just launch them, yeah. How long it takes you to bring them in? Depending on the weight, anywhere from 25 minutes to my biggest fight was almost two hours really? at Powerton. Yeah, last winter, sitting there freezing, trying to do this, yeah. pulling in 40 pound cats. You're like this, your body locks up. <laughs> All right, man. Works. All right, I'll bring take it easy. Soon. Sounds uh, good. Hey guys, it's Otto here. Can I get a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm? It will really, really help us out. I think, honestly, you are her favorite guy. Oh, yeah. no, no. There's a couple guys, listen, there's a couple guys here that she'll be sitting somewhere higher on the shelf, they walk by them and, and she'll jump on top of them. She likes you know? to be on the shoulders, yeah. or she'll even climb up on the head. Yeah. I can walk through that door, I see her, and I go, she's up and she's walking. I think yeah. I got the edge. It'll, I won't be around long. I'm getting old, somebody will take my spot. <laughs> Spotty. So much dust. So I think this piece because it's so far up here and nobody can see it it's kind of cool but it's been here forever i think i had this thing for 10 years it's one of the oldest things in a, in a shop um, but then there's things this iron man mask you can't even tell the price on it anymore it's been here so long that the price faded i think it's been here for six years this has been here forever originally priced at 350 250 200 and now it's at 125 dollars adrian bought it back in 2018 so that's coming up on six years uh old postcards and it says old chicago streets of chicago this picture up here wow that has been here 2019 there's some stuff here that it's been here a very very long time hello sir how are you so this instrument here that it's called boom bass i bought it in 2019 sometimes i wonder why do i buy like stuff like this at that time i guess it was interesting to me made in ohio 
Cleveland back in the day. I don't know why I bought this. Four years, no interest. Has this slot here. I don't know what this is for. Some other tool. I mean, part of an instrument would go in here. I, I don't know. So this was a bad buy. At, at the time when I bought it a couple of years ago, I thought these were gonna fly off the shelf. These are Bose, uh, Bose speakers. They're kind of like a sound bar back in the day. You would set your small TV on top of it actually, designed to up to like 42 inches TVs. And I bought a couple bigger units and then like 15 of these smaller units. The problem with these was no remotes. We had only one remote to test all of them. They all work, but I guess people don't want to buy them without the remote. And I'm asking $50 a piece on them. I sold a couple for like 40 bucks, but without the remote, they're not going and it's not worth ordering the remotes because the remotes are like 20, $25. So bad buy, probably gonna end up going to auction with these, you know? So this mirror right here, the Bud Light mirror, yeah, all these big, uh, all these big pictures of, of different beers, when they're that big, they just don't sell. They just, people don't have room for such a big uh, display. So this would work great in a bar, but not at somebody's house. This I bought here in 2016, eight years. And it's just sitting and I got it priced it was a hundred, that was 80, 60, it's 40 bucks now, not even an offer. Don't buy these for resale. So this amazing antique wheelchair, I bought it at a estate sale, I think like nine or 10 years ago, long time ago. It's one of my first few videos, if you guys go back, way back into library, you'll find this, me buying off uh, of an estate sale and I thought it was such a cool piece I don't even have a price on it anymore I, I just people think it's extremely cool nobody wants to dish out any money on it and believe it or not I actually made some money on it because I rented this out a couple times for different plays uh, I think about three or right before pandemic I, I rented out for like a high school play for like 50 bucks and then i think like six or seven years ago there was another play that they were doing here in the local theater in crystal lake and i also rented out for 50 bucks so i do got my money back for this because i think originally i paid like 100 bucks for this chair fully functional such a cool piece it would look good in some kind of horror movie or something but nobody's buying stuff like that and i get excited about things like that and i buy them and you know, it takes a really special buyer to buy something like this. Who wants something like this in their room, right? It just belongs in a museum. So that's the problem with vintage and antique stuff, you know, that it's, uh, it's got to fit somebody's decor. I dropped the price on these tremendously over the last few years. There's a video of me buying a bunch of these. I think I bought like five or six different cabinets. And some of the stuff is such a long tail items that you gotta sit and sit and sit and wait on it. I was originally asking like 600, then 500, now it's at 400 bucks. A cabinet like this normally, um, if it's in that kind of condition, will bring great money, but you gotta wait for that buyer. That's the problem with antique stuff. I love stuff like this, but it just takes time, you know? This cash register, I originally thought I was gonna be able to get like 600 bucks out of it. And then five, then four, now it's at 350. And I think I got 200 bucks in it. I'll be lucky probably if I get my money out of it and it's been sitting here for years. This is that kind of business, you know? When you are dealing with antique and vintage stuff, you're waiting for the right buyer and you just gotta be ready that some of that money is gonna be frozen for a while before you find a buyer. All right guys, postcard time. 501, 502, 503, 504, 505, 506, 507, 508, 509, and 510. Now this one, this one is kind of plain postcard, but I'm gonna read you guys what it says on the back. I have no idea why people are sending you postcards, but here's my postcard, handmade 
and authentic. <laughs> so the reason everybody's sending me these postcards is to be entered into the contest to stay for a week in my cabin up north in Door County that it's being built as we speak. So uh, that's why everybody's sending these in and when the time comes, when the cabin is ready, I'm gonna draw a number and one of you guys is gonna win a stay at the cabin for a week. So that's why that's why you're sending this in. But this one was very creative. It was funny. I wanted to read it out. Very cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.